It's going to fill it with water. Yeah, good point. And then, how high is it going to rise in, in the piezometer at the pump? All right, so remember, the, the, at the pump before, we had about, the shutoff head was about 21 inches, 24 inches, depending on your pump. Um, is, are we running at shutoff head if this valve is closed? Yeah. Once we fill it up, is there any, is there any flow? No, there's no flow. So it should rise here and here to the, um, to the shutoff head. All right, so let's see that. Um, I'm going to take a, a minute or three to fill up this pipe. <coughs> I'm going to actually get to the Okay. So, um, we were having a question, a, a short discussion on hydro hydraulic grade line. And the hydraulic grade line is the combination of pressure head and elevation head. All right? And it does not include vol um, velocity head. So, Anywhere, if this is, say, two feet where Jeremy is, what's the pressure in the pipe right here? One, One PSI, right? Two, it's going to be two feet everywhere what, because it's, it, the pressure is completely the same. Now, what happens when I open the valve here? We get some flow. Now, first of all, do you, do you agree that the piezometer here reads the same level as there? Okay. So what's going to happen when I open the valve there? This will drop. This will, drop. will this one drop? No. Okay, this is shut off head. So remember on the pump curve, it will, it will drop some. All right, because remember, we're, we've got, this is the pump curve. It looks like this. But right now, the flow is zero, so we're right here. As soon as we get a little bit of flow, the head starts, starts dropping off too. The minor off. Yeah. Yeah. The head will start dropping off because I start moving down the pump curve. All right? Now, do you expect that the water, the level of the water in this pump, excuse me, in this piezometer, is going to be higher or lower than the level here? Which is higher? And, and this is going to be lower. Why? Head loss. It's friction loss as the water moves through here. Okay, and we, we're not measuring any loss there. Now, this is, as we stand, this is the hydraulic grade line. Okay, the hydraulic grade line is how high water would rise in a piezometer. Okay, and you can just connect the dots from there to there if you're drawing the, the, uh, the hydraulic grade line. But, what, where does the water start? The hydraulic grade line starts here, okay, before it hits the pump, and the, water, the hydraulic grade line would connect to the water. You put a dot on the water. And then, the, usually the way they draw the pump, it just goes straight up to that point, okay? Because this water does not have any energy at all if the water level is zero, and then we add, the pump is adding energy, okay? It's adding pressure and elevation, some combination of that up to there. So we go from zero up to two feet, and it's still two feet. Now I'm gonna open this valve. <coughs> see this one drops a little and this one drops a lot okay again friction loss so how could I increase the difference that is have a greater difference between that one and that one I could open up this a little bit more which I will and watch this one drop even more that's just indicating that there's more friction loss okay and now it goes down all right so how do I draw the hydraulic grade line now connect the piezometers, it goes from here to there. And then, what's the last point? The last point is the nozzle right here, okay? And, you know, with nozzles you want to be careful because you can have a lot of velocity head, um, and, but this one, it's not going fast enough to even, to, I think, worry about that. So I can just keep on opening this and watch this one go down some more, and Jeremy's is gonna go down a little bit more too. So we're almost down to like very little pressure at that point. But, and the reason is because I, but I'm still getting flow here. So drawing the hydraulic grade line now, connect the two piezometers and the water level here. Okay. Now, if this is filled up, does it matter where the nozzle is or if this basin has water in it, where do I, where's that last point of the hydraulic grade line? It's the water surface. 
Okay. Right now the nozzle is underwater. Okay. And I and if we wanted to, we could actually calculate, you know, by measuring the difference. In fact, um, let's do that. Where do we have a? Somebody have a ruler. No, no, no. You want to stop it because it's running out of water. Oh. <laughs> We'll uh, refill. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hope, if you can uh, measure, let's. Uh, we got to get this started again, and measure the difference. Um, and you can just measure from. Let's. Uh, it, it's really from the. You know, we need. Is this table the same height as that table? I'm yeah. So you just put it on the table and measure this. Okay. But we. Um, all right, let's uh, right, turn this on. Check over here. It should be the same height. So they're both at 2.2 feet right now. I'm going to open this valve and we'll see the pressure loss, the friction loss in that tube. All right. That's two feet. And that's 1.2 feet, so it's 0.8 feet friction loss. And this is a 10 foot uh, tube. All right. So it's 0.8 feet friction loss in, and now do we know the flow rate? No, but we could figure that, we could calculate that, right? Or, or we determine that, but we're not going to. Okay? So that's um, a quick hydraulic lesson. Hydraulic rate line is the height that the water uh, is in the piezometer. And if you don't have a piezometer, which you almost never do, you can figure out what the pressure is in the line at that point and figure out you know, what the equivalent rise would be. Okay. All right. All right, let's call it a